Welcome friends, this is Eileen Fernandez Parker from Cultivating the Learning. And in this quick tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can organize your tracker and you can group items based on the unit or the theme that you are teaching so that they don't have to go in order. You can mix them all up and cover multiple standards at the same time. All right, so let's get started. In the last video, we created this second grade math um, tracker using the delete me curriculum map. That was what I called it. Now, the first thing I want to show you is that um, Mastery Connect orders all the trackers in the order that you create them. So if I want this, though, to be at the top of my list, I can just click over here and drag it up. OK, now I'm going to go into the tracker. And I'm going to turn on my tools. Up here, well, notice first, you've got all of the uh, standards listed in the order that you created them. They're all gray. It's There's nothing to distinguish them. So what I want to show you is if you look up here at these tools, what you see are multiple um, items that are going to be very helpful. OK, now I want you to click on this second button called Tracker. And when you do, you see that there are 25 standards that are unassigned right now, um, and they are all showing. That's what this check mark means. We're going to add a new unit, and we are just going to call it Unit 1, Numbers 0 to 1,000. And we're going to cover multiple different standards, not just number sense here. So the first thing I want you to see is that you can colorize just this unit, right? We made math blue, but the unit inside here, the first unit, I always do Roy G. Biv, so I always pick red for my first group of standards or unit one. Then I'm going to check off all of the standards that I want to include in the zero to a thousand unit. Okay. OK, now, if I need to see the whole standard, I can click here and I can see the whole standard. But I already did that in the curriculum mapping. So now I'm going to scroll to the bottom of this window and hit Save. And now what I want you to notice is the first unit is red. All of the other uh, standards are still showing, but I don't want them to. So I'm going to go back into the tracker. And I'm going to uncheck assigned standards. So those other 15 disappear. So now I just see the standards that I need to see for this unit, which is so much easier on the eyes and on the brain. Now, let's just say a student, you have an advanced student who is nearing mastering all of these and you need to start adding the next group of standards. You go back into the tracker and now we're going to add another unit and this will be unit two. And I'm, I don't know what it's going to be, so I'm just going to line. <laughs> my color is going to be under Roy G. Biv. It's going to be my orange. And notice the standards that I already used are not showing anymore. So I know that these are the ones that I need to choose from. So I want, let's, I'm just checking off anything here to let you see that I can mix and match and I can cover standards in different categories or pillars at the same time. And when I hit save, now I'm going to have two units showing. Okay, so what is super important here is that you and the students, because the students will have access to their own trackers, you and the students will not be overwhelmed by every standard that has to be covered. Okay, so that is how you can group your standards by units or categories. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can add those assessments that you need to be able to track mastery. Right now, we have just set up the framework for it. And in the next video, we're going to be able to actually um, see how we can grade them. Okay, see you in the next video.